What's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer photos and videos from a Galaxy phone to like your iPad or even on your iPhone. Um, so I tried to do this earlier today and I couldn't find any videos um, that actually still worked. I guess from before you were able to plug just USB-C from the Galaxy to USB-C on the iPad and you can transfer but Apple stopped that. And the only other videos I found were using websites to transfer but if you got a 4k video it's going to take forever to upload to that website and then to download it onto like your ipad so what i was able to do was i have a macbook and it's USB C. so this is for the macbook that i got i'm going to give you the different type of inputs and then i have an sd card attached to this so what you're going to do is plug this in to the Galaxy since you want to transfer the video or pictures from there. And you can also transfer from your iPad to the Galaxy. So it works both ways. You're going to plug it in. And then unlock the phone. So this is the file app that is on the Galaxy. Um, so right here, if you scroll down, it says internal storage and then usb storage one that's the sd card that i have plugged in right now so if i click on that it shows me everything that's already installed on the sd card and then if you want to transfer anything from the phone to the sd card what you have to do is pretty much search for it so you go to internal storage dcim camera and this is going to bring up all the pictures and videos that are on the phone. So for instance, I'm going to transfer this video right here. And then it says right here at the bottom, after you select it, you just hold down on the video, the picture, it says move. Then it's selected down here. It still shows it. And then you can click the back button. You can go all the way back here, click USB storage one, and then select down here at the bottom where it says move here. And that's transferring it now to the SD card. So it's on the SD card now. And then you can click on these arrows and then click unmount. Unplug it. So now that it's plugged in, what you want to search for is files. So we got files opened on the iPad. So all you're going to do is click on your SD card mine just shows up on the iPad as no name and once in there you can find the video or the picture that you transferred so this is the one that I transferred today and there's the video so now you can edit this on iMovie or Final Cut Pro if you have it installed on the iPad and another thing that I noticed too was this brick right here has USB so I can actually plug in an external microphone and do a voiceover in iMovie with the external microphone plugged in and that also works.